Well, here we are again. Man, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, man, before you get too far into what we're talking about today, let us know in the comments, one, how we can be praying for you. Uh, drop that down right down here in the comments. Where's that at? Yeah, right down here. Drop it down. Uh, let us know how we can be praying for you. Also, man, uh, don't forget to share this, man. Pass it around to everyone. Let everybody know, especially those that might be struggling with having peace uh, during this time. And I know a lot of changes are happening. They're happening fast, especially people who aren't accustomed to having some peace in their life. So be sure to drop a comment below. Share with you in a little bit here uh, a couple of things we're doing at the church. Uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, some instructions that have been given to me about how to make sure that you are following us and that you are uh, uh, Epic Life Church uh, up there at the front so you know when some stuff is coming down. Uh, the Pike, I'm going to be here every uh, afternoon around 3. We are going to reshare this uh, in the evening time so that anybody who didn't get it uh, can follow through. We're going to give it a couple minutes here or a couple seconds, a few more, uh, and get some people to um, uh, jump on with us. Uh, let me know how it is. I am out here in the country. I'm going off of uh, our simulated Wi-Fi that we have out here. It's not that great. Uh, thank you, Nicole. Cool. Uh, good beans. Like to know how it's handling. Um, never done this live off of this device. Uh, I have my phone right here, and so I'm going to wait a couple of more seconds. We've got a couple people on, about three or four on here. Um, you know, Pastor don't need much. He just needs one person that will uh, aim in him. Probably sounding a little echoish. Uh, I'm in my, uh, what I call my studio. My wife calls it my office. Um, I'll show you real quick. Those guys that are here, you can look. Um, there's my painting. That I, Some of y'all didn't even know I did that. Um, behind me is all my, there's all my brushes and stuff. Got great light. And then Robin kind of has to have her little porn. So there's her desk. Uh, that's where she has everything happening. So uh, anyhow, that's us in a nutshell. We're in our back room here that we call our studio at our house. Um, just trying to do things right a little bit. Not trying to do a lot of stuff on our main campus right now or on the church. Uh, we'll be doing it right here from the house um, as much as we possibly can. Good quality. It's fuzzy bit and lagging occasionally, but it uh, could be my phone internet. Cool. Well, online, it looks really good from what I'm seeing, and I don't know if that's me or whatever. Uh, Court and Dustin told me, awesome, awesome. Good to have you. Man, uh, y'all reach out. Well, I'm going to be reaching out to a lot of you guys, especially you guys that are DL men. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, I sent out a tech, an email uh, or a text a couple of days ago to check on my DL men. Give me a shout out, man. Uh, back through that text message because I like to see how things are going. Um, let me go ahead and get started. i got five people on here. I want to move through it quickly so I don't take a lot of your time. Man, this has been amazing. This has really stretched me as a pastor in trying to figure out how to stay communicated with you guys. And it's really proven some things that we'll probably be doing uh, coming up in the following uh, year. Even after all this is all over with, man, it's going to be a great time for us to connect. So uh, I just want to say I love you guys first foremost i know there's a lot of things happening that man you're trying to figure out what it is and, and how do we deal with it man and so stay connected to your church family hey here's what i want you to do here's a little homework assignment we play this later but uh, those that are online i want you right now the first person's name that comes to you that comes to our church not a family member not a family member but the first person that comes to your mind that goes to our church I want you to reach out to that person via text, phone, have a conversation like this. You can use things like, uh, I know, FaceTime them and just get in there, check on your people, the people that are your loved ones, man. Get in there and check in with them. Really super important that you're doing that, okay? I'm going to be doing it. I've checked on a few people. Be prepared. I'll probably call you up. I might even come on your door with a mask on and all my gear and just you know so we can uh, check in with each other so make sure that you're doing that make sure you're checking in with your church family man um, it's not about just necessarily meeting together corporately and still love each other and check on each other man hey jennifer good to see you um anyhow so let's get started man today's word that i want to give to you is i want to talk let you get told that we're going to start talking about around the 
uh, 12 different names of our Heavenly Father. Most of these are all, uh, if not all of them, are in the Old Testament, but that doesn't make it uh, them irrelevant. Still irrelevant, especially today, in today's day and time. What can we do now, man, to think about who God is? It is a good shirt, isn't it? So here's what I want to talk about. Yesterday we talked about El Shema. Lord is there. He's in. He's present with us, right? This tonight or today, I want to holler at you real quick for one more word, and that is He is El. Uh, he is um, Jehovah. Uh, shalom. Can you say that? Shalom. The word shalom is another Hebrew word or a word that takes us back and it really means peace. It is the Lord is our peace. It doesn't matter what's happening around us. When you understand that God is your peace and it really comes about in a great story found in the book of Judges. Uh, in the book of uh, Judges chapter 6, Here's an interesting thing. Uh, the nation of Israel had gone through a pretty bad time because they disobeyed God, turned their backs on them. So God kind of gave them over to some, some pretty bad stuff, right? But Judges comes in, and a man named Gideon comes in and begins to pray and intercede for the nation of Israel. Not only that, but he's fixing to have to go to battle, and he's not sure whether or not God's with them. God in a couple of things, and an angel of the Lord appears unto him, and he says this in this tragic time, in this time of where things were very unsettled, much like our world today, and in Judges chapter 6, verse 23, it says, then the Lord said to him, now first it says it was an angel of the Lord, what we believe, man, as theologians, is that this was a representation of Jesus Christ, and so it says that then the Lord said to him, peace be with you. Do not fear, you shall not die. See, he was in a place of a, a big time uncertainty. What if they win? What am I going to do? Where's God? If we're God's people, why isn't he helping us? Why did he let this happen to us? Much like many people are today, where there's so much uncertainty. And we go, God, where are you at? Where are you at? And we're freaking out. God, what's going to happen tomorrow? What about groceries? What about toilet paper? God, what about the toilet paper, right? And so, so many people have this uncertainty in their life. But can I tell you something? I'm going to tell you exactly what the Lord spoke to Gideon, if I might. And here it is. The Lord says to you, Shalom, do not fear, you shall not die. Can I tell you this morning, man? Man, the neat thing about this is that we have a relationship with our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. I listened to a podcast with Jess, um, Jess, uh, the, uh, oh, I got, just, um, his last name just went by. I just checked out on me. Um, the, uh, you know, the uh, Duck Dynasty, Jess. And he was talking about Robertson. Thank you. Jess Robertson said yesterday, he had a conversation with someone and the guy was worried about whether or not this was an end times event or whether or not this means that we're going through tribulation. Was Did God make this happen? And I loved his response. His response was, it really doesn't matter. We can have peace because here's the deal. Do you know Jesus Christ? Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Does it matter? Here's the deal. I'm not saying that you're going to get catch this thing, and I and I pray we don't want anyone to get this virus, not one person. But we have peace with God, no matter what happens, no matter what's on the other side of that hill. We have shalom, and we can rest in His shalom. Matter of fact, in the New Testament, in the book of Galatians, it, it, the gifts of the Spirit are the gifts of the Spirit are love, joy. Watch this. Peace, gentleness, meekness, long-suffering, self-control, kindness, all of those words. There's nine of them. So even as a believer in Christ, spirit in me, I have peace. So what happens? How do you tap into that peace? Well, let me ask you a question. What are you focused on? Are you focused on everything that's happening around you in this world? Are you watching the news? Are you sitting there in the, in the afternoon, late in the day, because you ain't got nothing else to do? You're sitting there on Facebook looking at all those negative reports. Are you sitting in front of the television right now watching CNN, Fox News, ABC, CBS, and all that, all that garbage, right? Well, see, if you want the peace of God, let me tell you what you have to do. You have to tap into that peace. What does that mean? You already have it inside you. You already have it. Shalom. Shalom is in you. 
right? Don't focus on all that garbage that's out there, all right? It doesn't mean we go, we become oblivious to the world and what's happening in our life. That's not what it means. But if that's what you're feeding on, if that's all you're putting down into your spirit, if that's what your eyes are focused on, if that's what's being filled into your mind, what do you think's going to happen, man? You're going to be worried. You're going to be freaking out instead of focusing on the Lord. The Lord our God, He is Lord. He is one. He is who we focus on. So here's what we got to do. Change your focus. What are you focused on? man. I told you this yet yesterday and i hope you're sharing this man share this to people let them know hey grab a hold of your family and have some time together pray together love each other give peace moms are you freaking out and then you're wondering why your whole family is in chaos right now and the kids aren't minding and they're running around and they're screaming hollering and everybody's fighting in there you know why because of what you're focused on see moms dads listen to me are you worried i know you're worried Know, man, that you're not sure what's going to happen tomorrow, but don't focus on that. Focus on your Father. Shalom. There is peace. You've got peace. And here's the crazy thing. The Bible says, man, we have a peace that surpasses all understanding. That's right, Jennifer. Focus. Focus. So you're going to have to fight that temptation to want to turn on the, what's going on? I got to know. I got to know what's happening. Man, stuff off. Focus in on your heavenly father. Draw into him. The Bible says, come nigh unto me. Come near to me. And what does he say? And I'll draw near to you. Draw near to the father today. Grab a hold of your loved ones, man. Pray with each other. I've been challenging you. How many of you done this? Take a picture tonight. I'm going to do it with Robin. Take a picture tonight. Show us taking communion, changing your focus off this world and putting it on your heavenly Father. That's what I want you to do, all right? Take communion tonight, picture, and post it right here on Epic Life Church right below here. Post it and let us know, hey, we're taking communion. We're taking our focus off of everything around us. We're going to do it today. Amen? So do that. Take communion. Take the focus off of everything around us and begin to focus on God's word. Man, I love you guys. God is so good. So here we go. All right, we got about four or five people. Maybe you know some. Tag them, get him on here. And what we're going to do for the next couple of minutes is tell me how I can be praying for you. Let me know right now in the comments how I can be praying for you. What, what, what do we need to pray about? I know, man, that uh, uh, in Kaufman County, man, they have done the at home in shelter rule. Uh, that's not going to change our online presence at all. Matter of fact, it says four churches. We can meet with 10 to run our our uh, message out on Sunday. So be, re be ready for that. Prepare for that. Uh, we're, gonna, we're doing some things right now to make it better. Um, so don't miss out on that. Share it with your loved one. Here's a great opportunity for people who, aren't, who don't even come to church, man. You can share the link, man, and let them know that you are going to, uh, we're going to be live with the message, okay? Praise God. If the video kind of messes up, which I hope it don't, the, the sound, you'll still be able to hear it and um, can can do it. So, um, man, get out there and do this and for opportunities to serve others from home. Absolutely, man. What a great, look for ways to have, uh, Nicole said, let's pray about having opportunities to serve others from home. Got uh, even Nicole us with our online presence, man, because she's at home right now. And, and so y'all give it up for her, man. Praise God for helping us out. Patrick, he's doing youth tonight, next gen on the Instagram, next gen Instagram page. Get on there, mom and dad. Uh, Patrick's going to be doing a live message uh, from there, the Instagram page of next gen. Um, and so and we'll continue to be here. So let me know how we can pray. Nicole said, let's pray. Wendy says for the homeschooling and patience with the kid. You've got patience, girl. I know you do. You can do this. We'll pray for, let's pray for all of those mamas and daddies, man, that are used to putting kids in the, in the schools and now they're home with them, man. Let's pray for them. So let's pray for that right now. Father, we just lift up that you would awaken our spirits to opportunities to serve others from home. What are ways, Lord God, that we can begin to serve in our community, to serve our church, to serve our neighbors? 
right from our home. We ask you that you'd open that up to us. Lord God, open those doors, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up Wendy. She asks for patience with her kids, with the grandbabies as she's homeschooling. Father, we lift up all moms and dads that are having to stay home with all of these kids, Lord God. And they're schooling. They've never, some of them have never done this before. So Lord, we just lift them up to you right now in Jesus' name. Lord, your word says, Spirit of the Lord living in us, and one of those gifts, the fruit of the Spirit, is patience. So, Lord, I thank you for patience that we tap into the patience. But more important, Lord, I pray for peace, shalom, be upon every person in the body of Christ. Father, that we would understand that you have not left us, you have not forsaken us. We call upon that shalom, that peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Father, we pray that it would rule and guard our hearts in Christ Jesus right now in Jesus' name. Lord, the shalom about our jobs, Lord God, and what's going to happen tomorrow and what the media might be saying and, and all of that stuff. Lord, we just rest in your hands, Lord God, that you have everything. And Lord God, we have a relationship with Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And Father, I pray that we would remember that. Lord God, that we don't have to grieve like the world grieved. We don't have to be in chaos. The world is in chaos. Father, we don't have to do that. But Father, we get to tap into you because you're our Heavenly Father and that you love us and you've got a plan and a purpose for us. And more importantly, you send Jesus down onto this earth to die for our sins. And Lord God, that we've accepted that as, as and so we're, we're walking in this relationship. Lord, show us how we can share that with others. Lord God, right from our home whether it's through Facebook or YouTube or uh, FaceTime. And God, help us to stay connected as the body of Christ. Help us to stay connected as family members. I know there's grandparents who haven't got to see their children, their grandkids. Lord God, we pray for them. And Lord God, we just pray that they would Skype or do some other thing, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we just pray that uh, for uh, uh, opportunity of uh, just creativity, in our parents, like Wendy's asking for prayer, it's hard trying to keep them busy and not wanting uh, on games and things that aren't good for them. Amen. Man, I know that God has given you a spirit of creativity, Wendy, and I believe that God will just ask him. Man, the Bible says we have not because we ask not. So let's ask our Heavenly Father. Father, I pray for creativity to keep our grandchildren and the kids busy during this extended summer maybe, right? In Jesus' name. How else can I pray for you? How else can we be praying today? Let us know in the comments. Man, you're, gonna, you're watching this on a replay. Hey, let us know how we can do prayers for focus in our family. Father, pray for Samantha's family. We pray for laser-like focus, that it would draw us back to you in Jesus' name. Father, we just call upon focus, Lord God. Lord, it's such a great time, Samantha, I mean, that we have this where we can turn everything off and recalibrate our spiritual uh, walk. The Bible says we walk not in the flesh, but walk in the spirit. So let's make that. I love it. it says, set your eyes on things above and not on the things of the world. What does that mean? I mean, that's something that we willfully have to do, that we willfully set our mind, set our mind on the things above right now in Jesus' name. I pray that over you right now, Sam. How else can we pray, guys, before I go? We've only got two, three people kind of coming in, bouncing in and out. Might be a uh, because of internet service, I know that many of you are from home. So let me know before we go. All right, so let me give you some final instructions. I'm going to still watch that. If something comes up, then we'll pray. Here are some final instructions that was given to me. Believe me, I did not write those things, as pretty as those are. Um, we are. Uh, what we want you to do is, man, we want you to go to our page, which is the page right here, Epic Life Tarot Facebook page, where we're at right now. And what I want you to do is click on the three little things that come in next to where it says message. Where it says message right there, right next to there are three little dots. Click and then click on following. All right, we want to make sure you're following those on this. Make sure you share this, all right? Uh, make sure you're following us and click to see first in part of that. Click to see you first. So that means when, when you open up your Facebook app on your phone, when you open that up and you see Facebook, 
the very first thing that you should see on there would be something from our church, whether it be an encouraging word. We're, we're, we're putting on their scriptures. We're tagging um, things that you guys can be doing, um, all sorts of stuff there, uh, like when our videos go online. So that will click and let you know, hey, we're online. You don't have to come over here and look for it. It's already going to be there. And then click on Edit Notifications. So click on Edit Notification Settings and click on Standard, okay? Click on Standard for the standard notifications. Everything that comes out, basically, not just special stuff but all of the stuff that we're doing, okay? So here we go again. Uh, like, of course, hopefully you're liking Epic Life Book, but click on the three dots next to the message, click following, then click to see first, and then edit your notifications, all right, your settings, um, and then click standard, standard. You want the standard. So all of our standard notifications are going to go on. So what that means is as soon as we go live, as soon as we go live, you're going to be notified and you'll know that we're going to be going live, all right? We'll be setting up events and stuff like that. Don't forget, man, make plans, share the heck out of this, and go with us, man. Be live with us on Sunday. Again, we're working on the feed to make it better. Uh, I hope you'll be a part of it. Let me pray for you one more time before we go. Man, I love you. Thank you for letting me spend time with you. Uh, continue, man, to pray. Let me see those pictures tonight, all right? Karina, here you go. You missed it. Wendy, you might have missed it. Sam, everyone, pray, pray, get it out there. Let's see everyone take communion tonight, all right? Let's say it's 7 o'clock tonight. Let's everybody take communion, all right? Let's everybody take communion. I'll do it. I'll share. Um, go ahead and, and, and post a picture of it. We're taking communion. Why? Because we're taking our eyes off everything around us, and we're going to focus on Jesus, who's the hope of our glory, who is everything, man. Let's focus on Jesus. Jesus said, as often as you think of me, do this in remembrance. Cracker and juice, orange juice. You say, well, I ain't ran out of store. Use water. Use juice. It doesn't matter. Man, just do it in remembrance of the Lord. Let's see some pictures tonight, all right? I'll be sharing ours. You share yours, all right? Pass this around. Let's pray one more time. Father, we pray for the parents that are at home, those that are losing jobs right now in Jesus' name. You are Jehovah Rapha or Jehovah Jireh. You're the Lord that provides. I pray for provision for all of those families, Lord God, that are running out of work right now, especially in the serving area, servant, Father, uh, who are serving in restaurants and stuff that can't be there right now. We just, the non-essentials that, the, that they're saying are non-essentials, I pray for them. Lord, we lift up some uh, healthy uh, motivation habits, Lord, to keep us active, that we're not, I love that, we're not couch potatoes. Father, help us to get outside, help us to work out, help us to uh, work in the garden, mow the grass, do stuff outside, keep us motivated, Father. And Lord, we just thank you for everything you're our life. We thank you for our church. We thank you that you are the provider. So Lord God, we thank you that uh, you're providing for every person that's watching right now in Jesus' name. Lord, your word tells us in the book of James that we have not because we ask not. And so Lord God, we just ask that you would move in our life, draw us closer to you to be everything you want us to be. Lord, we love you. We thank you so much for loving us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Guys, I thank you for joining us, man. Love you guys. We're going to replay this or have it replayed again sometime this evening. But remember, take communion. That's your homework. No, Take communion at 7 o'clock tonight. Get off the media. Get away from that junk. And man, let's focus on the shalom of God. El Shalom or Jehovah Shalom. The God is our peace. Love you guys. We'll talk to you again soon.